It is. Hi, it's Kim McDonald with um, NWO News for March the 29th, um, 2012. And I'm going to do uh, an article tonight on. Um, uh, you'll hear it when I get into it. I think you'll like it. It's quite disturbing in parts. But, um, okay, let's go. Um, kids all over America are being put on buses and sent to alternate locations during school terror drills. All over the United States, school children are being taken out of their classrooms, put on buses, and sent to alternate locations during terror drills. These exercises are often called evacuation drills or relocation drills, and they are more than a little disturbing. Um, sometimes parents are notified, uh, notified in advance when their kids are being taken, and sometimes they are only told that the children are being taken to an uh, undisclosed location. In the years since 9-11 and the Columbine school shooting, there has been a cohorted effort to make school emergency drills much more realistic and much more intense. Unfortunately, the fact that many of these drills are deeply traumatizing, many children do not seem to bother too many people. Do we really need to have active shooter drills where men point guns at our kids and fire blanks at them? Um, their cell phone calls because they will not be allowed to call anyone. They must surrender um, their cell phones. Our schools more closely resemble prison camps every single day, and it is our children that are suffering because of it. Now, come on, people. Um, uh, if they're doing this to your kids, and that, why aren't you protesting? Um, having your kids stop doing it. Go to the courts. Get together as a group in each each town and say, no, I'm not going to allow this anymore. Um, it is also important to keep in mind that much of the time these drills are not the fault of the local school administrators. Often these, straight, these drills are being mandated at the state level. Our politicians have become obsessed with school safety in recent years and apparently their idea of school safety involves deeply traumatizing these kids. Uh, earlier today I was doing some research and I came across a forum where a parent was describing a relocation drill that would soon be happening at a school in Oklahoma. Well I went to public schools all my life and nothing like this ever happened when I was growing up. So I want to do a little digging to see if this was actually happening around the country or if it was just an internet rumor. Unfortunately, what I found out was also quite disturbing. Um, you, you know, without the kids, we don't have a future. You know, government will have them bound like slaves. Um, we need to teach our kids now when to say no, when to say yes. Um, it's now not the, the creepy stranger that you don't talk to, but don't talk to police, military, any government officials. And tell your kids this. Um... It turns out that relocation drills are being conducted at schools from coast to coast. For example, the following is an excerpt 
from a letter to parents about relocation, relocation drill that took place in Woodhaven, Michigan. Okay. Um, our school district continues to focus on the safety of staff, students, and our community. We have a detailed emergency plan so we can respect, respond efficiently to major catastrophes. We work closely with the fire and police departments from the city of Woodhaven and Brownsville Township to impl implement this plan. As part of these efforts, we are conducting a practice emergency drill on May 19th. Um, it will begin about 9.20 a.m. and conclude by 11.30 a.m. The drill will simulate a boiler explosion at the Patrick Henry Middle School. We will evacuate all staff and students um, from the schools, Irving Elementary and the Administration Building. Um, now, well, I seem to have some uh, some callers on my monitor coming up my driveway. Um, yeah, this is kind of freaky. They don't look like police, but my door is locked, and I got a couple of big dogs out there too, so. Uh, I'm going to try to get through this and then find out what the hell and who the hell they are. Um, the Woodhaven and Brownsville Ta Township Police and Fire Department and DTE Energy and staff from Wayne Council, RESA, will help secure the buildings and monitor this practice drill. Irving Elementary staff and students will be evacuated by bus to Bates to Bates Elementary School and PHMS students and staff will be evac evacuated by bus to Woodhaven High School. But just putting the kids on the buses and taking them to the schools was not enough. During the drill some students and school staff were instructed to play to be the injured and in addition, parents were instructed not to call the school during the drill, and children were instructed not to call their parents. Um, you know, th this is a very sick thing going on. And, um, yeah, uh, give me one moment. I'm going to just have a look out uh, my window here. Okay, well, it looks like the same guys that were here a couple weeks ago, and I wouldn't let them in then either. They're the ones that put a note on my door stating to stop my telecast. Uh, this is driving me to have a cigarette here tonight, which I don't never do. They can knock on my door all they want. Um, they ain't getting me to leave, and they're not getting me to stop. Um... Okay, as part of the drill, we will pretend that some of the students and staff are injured, they were told. Pretend victims will be assessed and transported to new, nearby triage centers. Please be aware that Hall Road and Van Horn Road may be closed to traffic for all of the part of the drill, as there will be a number of emergency vehicles and the two different schools, all the kids and people. Uh, your cooperation is ne necessary for the practice drill to be successful. During drills and emergencies like the one we are planning, please do not telephone the school. Telephone schools are needed for drill emergencies. Impress upon your children they need to follow directions and take drills seriously. 
and they just go into more and more and more of these rules. Basically, they're saying they have your kids, they're not your kids, well, they have them. Um, yeah, this, this is very, very, very sick. Um, I'm going to, um, uh, I can hear the dogs going crazy over there. I can, uh, I'm going to end this um, as a part one and continue on a little bit later when I feel a little safer about what's going on here. Um, so I will be back tonight. Hopefully they're not taking me anywhere. Fuck them if they try. Um, God bless you. Take care. And always, always look over your shoulder and surroundings. Good night.